Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from uh, Two Port Network, chapter number 19. And here we'll be uh, solving practice problem 19.3, which is relates to admittance parameters. And this is on the request of a student. So let's recall we have two uh, types of connection. In the first connection, we find Y11 and Y21. For that, we connect the current source on the left hand side and short circuit the right hand side. And the other two parameters, Y12 and Y22, for that, we connect the current source to the right hand side and short circuit the uh, left hand side. So now let's come to the problem. Obtain Y parameter for the T network shown in figure. So this is T network. And we have to connect, uh, find all four parameters. And the answer is also given in the book. We'll try to match that. OK, so these are the four parameters we'll find. First of all, we'll find the left two. So that our circuit will now be like this, connecting the current source in the left hand side and short circuiting the right hand side. These two currents, I1, I2, and these are the voltages, V1, V2. Since this is short circuit, therefore V2 will be zero. So first we'll try to find this one. Now if you see the circuit, this branch and this branch, they are in parallel. So we'll solve that. So six and four in parallel will give us 2.4. So putting the equivalent resistance 2.4, this will become our circuit. And now the simple voltage equation. So V is I into the resistances, 2 and 2 plus 4. So this will be the uh, I, I1 into 4.4. And from here, we'll calculate I1 over V1, which will be 1 over 4.4 and which is equal to 0 0.22 uh, 73 Siemens. And this is our required parameter Y11. So Y11 is 0 0.2273 Siemens. And this can be written in, in milli Siemens as 227.3 milli Siemens. So this was the first part. Now the second part we'll try to find uh, I2 divided by V1, same circuit, but here now I'm, I have drawn these two currents. We will use or they uh, will find current I2 from current I1. So you can see this current is dividing into two paths, one here and the other on the right hand side. And since the right hand side current is being called I2 and it is coming from right to left, whereas our current is going from left to right, the magnitude will remain same, but the direction is changing. So we are writing here negative I2. So to find the negative I2, uh, or to find I2, we will be using the CDR or the current division rule. So this current is the total current divided by total resistance that is 4 plus 6 multiplied by opposite arm we're trying to find uh, negative i2 so the opposite arm is this one so multiply by opposite arm and so it will be 0 0.4 i1 now we need to get v1 so we'll use the relation of i1 v1 that we had already derived uh, from the circuit we had derived V1 is I14 or I1 is V1 divided by 4.4. So we'll plug in this value here. So this is our uh, um, uh, result, 0 0.909 V1. And we can write it now that I2 is equal to negative 0 0.909 V1. So from here, now we can find I2 over V1, same value, and it can be written as milli Siemens. And this is our Y21. 
So Y21 will be negative 90.92 milli Siemens. So the first two we have solved. Now for the other two, we'll move to the right hand side. We'll move the source to the right hand side and short circuit the left hand side. So the source is here now, I2, and this is short circuited. Same technique. Now you can see these two are in parallel. So solving 1.33, our equivalent circuit will be this. And now writing the uh, voltage and current relation. So V is equal to I2 and 6 plus 1.33. So this is the relation. And now from here, we can find I2 over V2, which is 1 divided by 7.33 and the answer is 136.36 milli siemens now i2 v2 is i2 v2 is y12 uh, sorry y22 i2 v2 is y22 therefore y22 is 136.36 milli siemens so now what is left is y12 same circuit and here also now we'll use this CDR rule, current entering and going in two ways. This I2, I1 is given uh, from left to right. Our current is moving from right to left. So we'll put a negative sign here. So negative I2 by CDR, negative I2 is total current I2 divided by total resistance multiplied by opposite arm. So this is now will replace I2 by the value calculated earlier from this circuit. So I2 in terms of V2. And so this is our final value. We'll rewrite it again. I1 will now, this sign will move to the right. So this is I1 and now we'll divide by V2. So I1 over V2 will be. 0 0.09091 Siemens, which can be written as negative 90.91 milli Siemens. Now, this is our Y12. So, Y12 is negative 90.91 milli Siemens. So, we have found all the four answers which match the answer given in the book. Just a point to note that here I, Y12 is equal to Y21, same value. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.